Viewer's discretion is advised. Malachi chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. Ooh. Romans 9, 11. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, you white people done messed up, don't you? <laughs> I would hate your earth. Imposters, deceivers, and liars. Keep it 100, man. You know y'all ain't nothing but some snakes. All right? Tell y'all who these folks is real quick. In case y'all didn't know who they are, they K's are. So war like people that's been known for their murder. They're chopping up your baby and you're them in burgers. And handing back to you with a smile like a service. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Y'all loving it because you didn't know it was somebody little kid. Keep up mixed with in my spot, eating as a sacrifice. Give it to the rabbi. And y'all still debating who the hell is not the synagogue of Satan. Man, your beer goggles got you drunk off whatever Fox News saying. And they keep these pastors paid for pumping these Sunday lies. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. Who are we? We the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We coming to bring the truth to you so-called Negroes, West Indian, Hispanics, Puerto Ricans, Native American Indians, Argentinians, Chileans, Panamanians, Colombians, scattered from North, South, and Central America. You are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. Like Lamentations 1 verse 3. Judah is going into captivity. Judah is going into captivity. Judah is the tribe that Christ came from. The Bible say that in, in the New Testament, okay? Judah is going into captivity. Wait a minute. Did the, did the Jews, is Israeli government, and their descendants going into captivity? No. I, don't, I didn't see Benjamin Netanyahu and his people on, on, on in captivity, on slave ships. Did you? No. Go ahead. Yeah. Because of, wild, Lord. because of affliction and because of great servitude, she dwelleth among the heathen. She dwelleth among the heathen, man. That's that's where Judah is at, among the heathen in Babylon, man, the place of confusion. That's why Judah all confused. But says she findeth no rest. She findeth no rest. Struggles, not being able to support the family, you know, being at the bottom. All right, not being able, you know, to, to to fellowship with your brothers, man, because of hatred and strife. All right, I got a precept real quick. Go ahead. I this is uh, Deuteronomy 28, uh, verse 65 it says, "And among these nations shall thy find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet have any rest." See that? Read that again. It says among. And among these nations, and children. among these nations, these other nations that ain't the children of Israel, go ahead. Shall I find no ease? Shall thou find no ease? That's talking about you so-called blacks and Hispanics, man. Y'all ain't finding no ease up in this nation. Got to work tip service jobs. You know, you you done went to college, but now it ain't working out for you, man. God. You know. In debt. You ain't fly. Yeah, now you're in debt for all those grants and loans that you didn't need to borrow. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna find no ease, man. If you were Israelite, you're under curses, all right? I mean, the Most High does bless us in the land of our captivity, but for the most part, we under curses till the Most High get back. It says, and among, the, among these nations shall thou find no ease. And among these nations shall thou find no monk, no whip, slack it. <laughs> and among these nations shall thou find no ease, man. That's why you see our people, uh, Scraping up cans every day to get change, man. You got you walking down the street with a damn save a lot cart, and you're nowhere near save a lot, man. Uh, you know? Go ahead, Doc. Says neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. Neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest, man. Some some of our people got to work seven days a week. Go ahead. That was it. All right. Give me a. And they, uh, finish lamentation real quick. Yeah, go back to the verse. You can go down too. It says, She findeth no. Let me go back. It says, She dwelleth among the heathen, she findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. Go ahead. The ways of Zion do mourn. The ways of Zion do mourn. Well, our people are mourning, man. Our people that mourn so damn bad, they don't even know they mourning, man. We got a precept, bring it out, all right? Go ahead, man. You know, the scripture say, curse be he that uh, holding back his sword, man, from blood, man. I mean, we supposed to cut these doctors up, man. 
got the preset bringing out. Right? This is uh, Revelations 2 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought the Jews in Israel was, in, was, was, was the richest people on earth. I, oh God. So uh, where's the poverty at over there? They own the media. Oh, that's Jeremiah 14. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, either way, man, them heathens is not in poverty, man. They run the NBA, all right? They own, they own, I'm sorry, they own the, uh, the NFL, all right? They own McDonald's, they own Taco Bell, they own your banks, Subway, you know? Okay. h &R Block, all right? So where's the poverty that, man? All right, so that proves you uh, Jewish Israeli people are not, not the children of the most high. All right, go ahead. We'll go with Lamentations uh, 1 verse 4. It says, The ways of Zion do mourn. See that? The um, ways of Zion do mourn. Preach it up. The precept. Uh, this is Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah mourning. Judah mourning. Wait a minute. Judah is happy. Judah's in their land. Wait a minute, brother. Judah's in Jerusalem, brother. God. Wait a minute, brother. You can't be telling me Judah ain't in Jerusalem, brother. I just seen Benjamin Day in Yahoo. Go ahead. Judah mourneth. See that? Judah mourneth, man. And the gates thereof language. The gates thereof language. I think the word gate in the Hebrew is Sha'ar, man, which means the cities, man, the places where our people is at, man. Go ahead. Says they are black until the ground. They are black unto the ground. The Hebrew word is black is Quadar. And that is twofold, actually, man. It's dealing with our color and it's dealing with us actually mourning, man. Because to be black is, is mourning, is, to be mourning is to be black, man. You know, for, for the most part, Judah is is, is, is is colored people, man. All right? It says, and the cry Because the word Quadar does mean dark skin. So go ahead. It says, um, and the cry of Jerusalem is going up. The cry of Jerusalem is going up. Did not uh, Jerusalem Zach in a fool downtown because of the, the cop that got, uh, I, I forgot what happened or whatever, but the cop, you know, Basically, he's got uh, got away, with, you know, for free, man. Kill our people and get a vacation, man. You got something else? No, I'm just saying Lamentations. Yeah, go ahead. Lamentations 4 again says the ways of Zion mourn. And we out here mourning, man. That's why we out here on the byways, man. Crying for the abominations to show our people their sins. Go ahead. Because none come to the solemn feast. Our people is working up in these holidays. They don't know about solemn feast. You don't know about the Passover. You know about Easter, go ahead. Says all her gates are desolate. Go ahead. Her priest sigh. All right. Her virgins are afflicted. Come on. And she is in bitterness. Okay. Her adversaries are the chief. Her adversaries are the chief. The word chief means to be on top, man. Okay? Chief. All right? Her adversaries are on top. Arabs on this corner. East Indian on that corner. Uh, Edom might run this business. Edom might run that business. Her adversaries are chief. Go ahead. Says uh, her enemies prosper. Her enemies prosper, man. What do you think this is, man? This, this, uh, look, let's, let's show this building, man. Ooh. I'm about, I got Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold a second. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Man, can we pick this up somehow? Yeah, or let me just pick it up. It says her adversaries are chief, man. Look at this picture, man. Just look at the picture, man. This says enough, man. Look at this, man. Her, what did it say? I hope it, I hope yeah. it caught it, caught it good, man. It yeah, says, all her, all her gates are desolate. Look, look, wait a minute, look at this, look at this. Look at this, man. How you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? Read that again. Read that same part, all right? The same part. Her virgins are afflicted and she is in bitterness. 
her adversaries are achieved, her enemies prosper. Her enemies prosper. What does this picture right here look like to me, man? Have a seat, grab a plate, now let me fill you up. This is real talk, I edify to build you up. Struggle daily, still the truth we gotta strive for. I'm wiser now, the truth is what I ride for. Knowledge is self wisdom, the truth though for everything. I know what I am, I'm not a boss, I'm a king. Pull this crown like you, pull this crown living. The kingdom is at hand, this is that crown vision. Truth like steak, I eat it to get my savage on. Then hit the streets to expose. This modern day Babylon This that real gospel This that real news We struggling just to make it Damn heathens man It said her adversaries are cheap Their enemies prosper man Wait a minute Wait a minute Ak if, if, if the people in, in Israel Is the true Jews Then why they ain't mourning Why, why, why they ain't You know crying why, why is they not weeping all right, but they will weep, man, when the day the Lord come. You know, man, I got, I got, I got a couple of things I want to bring out. Hey, bring it out, brother. <laughs> you got to bring it out, man. Just say her enemies prosper, for the Lord have afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. See that? The, I got The Lord have afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Go ahead, I. Well, I got a free show real quick. I got a precept too after you. <laughs> I'm probably going to the same one I'm looking for. <laughs> now, I, know I, I know I ain't going to the same one. You got to. You know what I'm saying? It says, it says, well, hey, that script is so bad right there, though. Know? Ain't it, though? It says, her enemy prosper, the Lord have afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. That's why we was brought over here, man, for the multitude of transgressions, man. You got, go ahead, you can bring your precept. You got it, you got it, go ahead. All right, let me, let me read that again. It's saying her adversaries are chief. Her enemies prosper, for the Lord have afflicted her. For, for the, the Lord have afflicted her, go ahead. For the multitude of her transgressions. For the multitude of her transgressions. Now, this is a precept. Like worshiping idols, okay? Worshiping rock, wood, and stone. We are not to do that, go ahead. I says for the multitude of her transgressions. This is 1 John 3 and 4. It says whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. Kind. For sin is the transgression of the law. Kind. Sin is the transgression of the law, man. Okay? That's why we see our enemies prospering and we we not prospering. You say what I <laughs> Okay, okay, slack, slack. <laughs> Let me get a uh, Nehemiah chapter one, verse eight. He says Remember, I beseech thee. Oh, you want to get this? Give me my one and eight. You know? All right. Her adversaries are right, cheap. Would you like a flock? Would you like a flock? Thank you. I see you back on time, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's Downtown, the army, sister. It's the army of Israel. We teach all people who we just want to the Bible and history. Mm -hmm. We have Bible history. Call in and like ask for that information. Thank you very much. All right. I'm on my way to do a dinner for our sister Muslim. For Muslim? Okay. I'm a personal fact. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sister. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta cover up too though, sis. <laughs> you know, you like when you turn a brother on, man. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that, sis. A brother, a brother get weak. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says many have sin for women. You gotta cover up, man. You know? We out here to see the law, man. You know? God. Get, get ready to hold. Read Nehemiah. that. Read that. Did we? Nehemiah. Read Nehemiah 1 and uh, 8. Then we gonna get a. Nehemiah 1 and 8. Get another scripture. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, if ye transgress. If ye do what? If ye transgress. Go ahead. I will scatter you abroad Con. among the nations. See that? If ye transgress. We read that in 1 John 3 and 4, man. Con. Okay? That's why we was brought over here. And our, our women looking like harlots because we was being harlots unto the Most High. Con. The scripture says we have to return unto our power, man. That's the way these curses will be lifted off of us. Off of us. All right? Then you had the sister. You know, she did get a flyer that was beautiful. But when, I'm, when she was in my face, all I seen was teats, man. Knockers, cleavage, man. 
That's all I see, man. Cleavage, man. Now, now if I come at you crazy, I'm in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give me first Timothy. No, it's like it. Give me uh, first. Give me first Timothy two and nine, man. First Timothy two and nine, man. All right, sister, because you had your cleavage out, man, and like that's why brothers are so damn horny, man. You're turning brothers on, man. Yo, know? Uh, that's like uh, 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 kindling the fire, man. All right. Tipton brothers like that, man. Go ahead. First Timothy 2 verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves. That women do what? Adorn themselves Go ahead. in modest apparel. In modest apparel. Modest apparel is godly apparel. All right? Cover yourself, sister. Don't show your breast off. I don't know if you have a man or not, but you, if you have a man, that, that's, that's abomination to do that to your man. Your, your man is your, your honor, man. That's your Lord, all right? You don't, sh you don't expose yourself, sister. Give, you, give get, you know, show up. Like, that's why brothers just treat women like slut bags because that's all they got to offer them, man. All they got to offer them is the ass. It's more than just the ass, man. You got to have a mental connection with your woman, man. Right. Not just sex, man. Go ahead. Hey, brother, would y'all like to fly? Y'all want to fly? Art right, says, um, with same faceness and sobriety. Shame faceness and sobriety. All right? Go ahead. Not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Right, meaning you want attention. That's why women do that. They're wearing leggings, showing off all their curves. The buttocks, all right? We're not supposed to see your nakedness, man. Let's nah. get that real quick. Go ahead, I'll go finish that. Said, but which becometh women professing godliness. Professing godliness, wait a minute. Being a slut, man. But which becometh women professing godliness. Wait a minute, I... With good works. With good works, man. Let's get uh, another precept, man. I'm about to just grab some precepts, I you break them out. Go to, uh, I think it's Zephaniah. Go to Zephaniah. Right. Zephaniah 1, 1 and 8. Zephaniah 1 and 8. Zephaniah 1 and 8. So-called blacks are Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, not African Americans. Go ahead. Zephaniah uh, one and eight. Yeah, kind. Says, and it shall come to pass. I mean, it's gonna happen. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That sacrifice is World War Three. The scripture says the Lord have a great sacrifice in uh in Basra, man, which is dealing with the Edomites. Go ahead that I will punish the princes. The princes, the princes are the people, the wealthy people that are, go ahead. And the king's children. Your president and his children, go ahead. And all such as are clothed. And with, all such as are clothed. With strange apparel. With, with Gentile apparel, all right? We have to be, we have to come back to our, our nationality, man. Not Gentile apparel. I mean, we don't, it's gonna be our people that dress like Gentiles. But when you're dressing like a harlot, that's a totally against the scriptures, man. All right? Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 26, verse uh, verse 9. I want that. Ecclesiastes 26 and 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse 9. It says, the whoredom of a woman. The what? The whoredom of a woman. That may be known in her haughty looks. Right, her haughty looks. She had her head all the way up, our brother. And eyelids. And eyelids, man. And those breasts, man. Those, those, those cleavage, man. You turning brothers on when you do that. So I don't know. Maybe she might not have a man, but still, you don't need to show off your, 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 yourself to brothers, man. All right. Go ahead. And this is verse 10. This would be good for uh, people who have um, younger, like teenage daughters. It says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. 
let she abuse herself through over much liberty. And that's what happened. A lot of these women don't have dads. The dad has been destroyed and they were raised by their mom. Their mama was a Tatiana and a, and a, uh, a whore, a cum slut or whatever you call them. Or she was a, you know, she was out there just like the daughter. Let me get a precept. You got, uh, yeah, man. You can't be walking out there doing that madness. We gotta come back to our nationality. Dressing like harlots, that's for your man, all right? Not to be showing it off to, to somebody else. Give me uh, Ezekiel 16 and 44, all right? Because a lot of our women is raised raised by their mom, their mom, man, just like our man is being raised by the mom. All right, hold that, hold that, and I got another precept too. All right, give me a. I think it's it's like it. Give me Isaiah three and twelve and, and Ezekiel sixteen and forty-four. Isaiah three and twelve. Yeah, Isaiah three and uh, twelve. This is Isaiah chapter three, verse twelve. As for my people, as for my people, not all, but not everybody, not the white man. Go ahead. Children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors, and that's what you got. Children that rule over us, you know, making all this foolishness. Foolishness, man. The scripture says a child is given unto foolishness from the from the uh, womb. All right. And the scripture said, called Edom a foolish nation, man. So we have to repent, come back to Christ, and learn our true nationality, which was given in the Bible. All right? Go ahead and read that. Yes. And women rule over them. And women rule over them. All right? How do women rule over them? The same way that what Eve did, man. She got to, she listened to Satan. And that's what a lot of our women is doing, listening to Satan and not listening to the, to the Lord, man. All right? We have to rehearse the righteous acts, man, and, and, and dress in modest apparel. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was okay. Now that was off the hook right there, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my people! Oh my people! The they, children of Israel. That was in, that was in Africa. All right. You're not Africans, but you were in the land of Africa. All right, as prophesied in the Holy Bible. Go ahead. They which lead thee cause thee to err. They which lead thee cause thee to error, man. And, and, and our women, they listen to, our, the women of our nation, they listen to Gentiles. That's where they get their knowledge from. So the children become Gentiles, man. You know, in the mind, man. You know, because they're not circumcised. They're uncircumcised. Go ahead. That it is. Says, and destroy the way of thy path. And destroy the way of thy path. That's why you see the Negro, Native American, and Hispanic man, you know, destroyed, man, as a people, man, as a nation, all right? Because we've been raised out of order. We've been raised in sin, you know? Ezekiel 16 and 44, all right? Because that's where these women learn this stuff, man. What they say, shake what your mama gave you? Go ahead, Ezekiel 16 and 44. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44. Said, Behold, everyone that uses proverbs shall use this proverb against thee. This metaphor, go ahead. Saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. As is the mother, so is her daughter. That's why you got mothers, you know. Acting just as young as the daughter. Acting just as, you be like, Is that the daughter or is that the mother? Having kids the same age. You know, up there, you know, acting a fool with your daughter, man, and you know, like it's madness, man, the script, this is, this place is out of order, man. Give me a, uh, give me a, uh, give me Micah 2 and 10, man. This place is totally out of order. Two and ten, yeah. Micah chapter two and verse ten says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest." Arise ye and depart, 
We got to depart from America, man. Okay, the Bible says this is not our rest. You Latinos are Israelites according to the Bible, all right? From the tribe of Ephraim. Ephraim means fruitful in the Bible, all right? Go ahead. It says because it is polluted. Because it is polluted, man. All right, they're injecting all type of uh, fluids in your food, all right? Put fluoride in your water. What's up, sis? Y'all think something funny? I see you laughing. What's up? Y'all on a flight? What's up? Y'all yeah? Y'all on a flight? Y'all laughing. It funny. Y'all got to learn your heritage, man. Y'all not Africans, all right? The Bible don't call y'all Africans. And y'all need to put some clothes on. Okay. All right? Because you, you turned it in front of the home. All right? So put them clothes on. You know what I'm saying? God, man. I'm not crazy. saying that I want the sister. It's crazy. But like, you're 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 trying to attract a man, man. That's causing for attention, man. That's why the scripture says if you get a woman, it's a distraction, man. Women, a lot of these women ain't nothing but a distraction, man. You know? That's why the scripture says many have sin for women, man. And the sister thinking it's funny, man. Alright? But it, hey. Give me, give me, uh, you got, what you read, what you read? It say, it's, your sister think it's funny, it's I- It will destroy you even with a sword destruction. Micah 7 and 10, go to Micah 7 and 10. Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. It says, then she that is my enemy. Then she that is in my enemy, when we read Deuteronomy 28, the scripture says her eyes shall be evil toward her husband. That's what we see happening amongst our nation. Go ahead. It says, then shall that is- Read this on the top. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it. What's she gonna see? And shame shall cover her. What? And shame shall cover her. Yes, wait a minute. And I said, what's she gonna see? She's gonna see the Negro, Native American, Latino man come back in power, man. She's gonna see the salvation of Christ and she's gonna be bugged out, man. Everybody's just dressing crazy, man. Yeah, everybody's dressing crazy today. I guess today is the day to dress crazy, man. You know? We gotta put some clothes on, sister. You know? Yeah, I'm talking to you. We have to dress in modest apparel according to the Bible. Uh, it's all love, sister. Much love. Come get a flyer. Come get a flyer, sister. I ain't gonna bite you. God. We love you, sister. Get a flyer, huh? We love you, sister. We just out here trying to preach the truth. That's all. You know, we have to repent because Christ is coming back. Yeah. I I get out of somebody's car because they're trying to start something. I said, let me get out of the car and walk. I had to walk, I got out of the car because I'm going to own that stuff. Which I you said you what? I had to get out of the car because they started messing with somebody. So I started messing with somebody. Yeah, we don't, we don't want no problems. We just have yeah, to. No, oh, with somebody else? Yeah, they started. Somebody just walked away. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what you do. I, I got to get out of walk and leave it alone. You with your mess, and it's not, I'm not doing it for nobody. God, don't take on nobody problems, sisters. I walk away, better walk away. But we got to repent too, sister. Yeah, I walked away from it. Yeah. Hey, you know, God got a plan for me. Get a dress, sister, get a dress. I, you know, most I will not get you a dress if you repent. You I know? I've been baptized. It ain't about, you got to be baptized with the scriptures, with the laws of God. Meaning we have to, we have to change our ways from what we've been taught. Because we're not supposed to be dressing like that. You're supposed to have a skirt on with fringes, sister. This is the commandments of God. Okay. You can get numbers 15. We're supposed to wear fringes on our clothes. Uh, not for fashion, but you see the Native American Indians. They're God's people. They wear fringes. Could I you know? sit your hand on that? Oh, sister, much love. Hey, much love. That's why I need You know that. Jesus was a black man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Revelation, the Re yeah. book of Revelation yeah. say that. He had core hair. Wo woolly hair. Yeah. Woolly hair. He says hair. the lost sheep. Sheep yeah. have woolly hair. Yeah. We're, we are, my God compares us to sheep. Thank you for that. I need that message. You need it, sister. I need it. And, and remember this. In the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yes, which means he will save. That's our Savior in the Hebrew. Yep. I trust and believe in him. Yes. Look it up, sister. You can you can look up that name, sister. Hey, that's what I'm sorry for disrespecting. No, no disrespect. No disrespect, sis. We just want, want our people to wake up and, 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 and come back in love. You know? I appreciate it. I need the message. That's all right, sister. Much love. I'm going to get out of your car. All right. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring that out about the fringes. This is uh, Numbers 15 and verse 38. Go ahead. 
speak unto the children of Israel. Hey man, Esau. Speak unto the children of Israel. Go ahead. And bid them that they make them fringes. Command them. In the borders of their garments. See that? Borders of their garment. The word border means the end of your garment, man. The edge of your garment, man. Throughout their generation. Wait a minute, one generation. Throughout their generation. This Moses' generation. Throughout their generation. Time, go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Fine, a ribbon of blue. All right. And it shall be unto them for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's right. We got to remember all the commandments of the Lord. 